today I'm going to review like a Toyota Starlet, one of the best cars engineered by Toyota. I, I actually love the Toyota Starlet. It's a really, really nice car. Uh, I've been with it. It's a, it's a performer. I can guarantee that. And this one over here, it's a manual five-speed, manual transmission, running on a 4E FE engine, non -tackle. We have the other, the other one, the other, the Glanza V, which is a turbo and a performance car of this make. This one is, a, is an old school, but well kept. I'm going to show you the secrets of keeping a car as neat as this one uh, throughout the years, from 1999 to 2019. Almost those have been 20 years, but a car is still as neat as this one. So I'm going to show you the secrets of keeping a car to this level. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the engine of this car, the little modifications we have done to it, uh, the interior, what we have added to it, how it performs, the consumption, basically everything about this car. I will try as much as possible to tell you. So, thank you. And the clips will follow. I was not supposed to say thank you, but I'm supposed to say the clip will follow. So let's see the car. Yeah, so basically this is a small engine that does wonders on the road. Uh, this is a 4E FE engine. Uh, one of the best engine ever built by Toyota. The only problem with this engine is the seals. The leakage of the seals mostly you'll get. You'll have so many leakage, leakages on the seals. Uh, this car doesn't have so much modifications, but the little modifications are just good for it. Like it has a, a through pipe. Uh, we have a top cover air intake which allows air. It takes clean air from outside inside the engine. So there's good circulation of air. Uh, we have a, a downward intake pipe which allows cold air from outside into the throttle as you can see the throttle is here so the throttle takes clean air downwards uh, that's basically it so when you go we check to the body we have the bumper holder which is a decal uh, some rising of course we will smoke the indicator lights but they are working proper uh, we have we have the bumper fin just for the decal uh, we have the LED LED lights, which actually work. Actually, uh, this car is inspired by TRD Toyota Racing Development. So the little modifications that are done are inspired by TRD. For the calipers, they are painted red. That has nothing to do with performance, uh, but it's okay. You can see the roof is black. The hood is black, yeah, that's a decal, and we have misters, uh, that is a story for another day. Uh, rims I'm doing 16, 16, 16 inch low profile, low profile rims, the fuel tank is black, that is a decal. We have the piston, piston heads. I'm actually a petrol head, but we have the piston head sign to show that I'm an enthusiast. Uh, downwards, we have another TRD logo. We have a HKS, HKS muffler, uh, which spits flames. It's actually nice and makes some noise for my neighbors, which is actually okay. Yeah, so for the interior, the interior of this car is, is quite spacious. The interior is quite spacious. As you can see, it has some bucket seats. Bucket seats enable you to sit comfortably and feel the grip uh, while you're driving. Uh, let me show you the gear knob. It's TRD inspired. I'm not sure you can see it. Yeah, that is the gear knob. We have some radio system over there. Uh, I have my grand grand cap right there. Some holders, basically the handle. Uh, that rustling definitely not what you are thinking. 
but I have it. Uh, yeah, the bucket seat from, from to the back. More music and more music to the back. More music. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, basically the interior. Quite spacious. When you go to the trunk, let me open the trunk. Ah. Ah, just a minute. You can see the shifting. When you drive a manual car, it's good for petrol heads. Uh, the trunk, nothing much. Just have a very big speaker over here. That completes the and, and an amplifier that completes the the boot. Basically, you can just put a small bag here. You can't use this car for anything other than maybe having fun, going out and traveling without luggage. Yeah, that's basically it. So you tell me what you think about the car. Thank you for watching. Yep. So if you want to maintain your car and look as sleek as this one uh, just make sure first of all you you drive you drive carefully you drive carefully another thing you can do precautionary measures like applying ceramic coating and doing some uh, scratch removal using normal compound uh, what else you can, you can do you can do waxing on your paintwork or when you see the paint is is beat enough you can do uh, another respray of the car so that you get a sleek look like this one i believe it's sleek i'm not sure you can be able to see but i believe it's sleek so that's what you can do with your paintwork uh, for the decals you can just get in touch you can ask if you want some decals or you have we want ideas on what you can do with your car you can always ask and I'll give you some some tips or some advice on what you can do with your car. Yeah.